I can't hear you yet. Hi everybody and welcome to the interview today with Mary Rhodes who's joining us today from Adelaide. Mary, welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, not at all. Very, very pleased to be able to do this. Oh, wonderful. And what's it like down in Adelaide at the moment? It's freezing cold and pouring down. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> not having the beautiful balmy weather that we're getting up in here, up in Sydney at the moment. No, you probably get this later. If you oh, comes across going to send it our way. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want it. No, no, we don't. Now, Mary, tell me, you've been working with Karen down in... Um, Adelaide, one of our Pity Warrior licensees. Tell me how you got involved in the Pity Warrior program. Well, what happened was um, when I went to see my neurologist, got him to see him, and when we were talking about it, he said the only way he knew to actually slow the progression of Parkinson's was vigorous exercise. So I thought, right, I used to be a marathon runner, so I thought, right, I can do that. So I came home, got, got a heart monitor, got on an exercise bike, and I just couldn't get my heart rate up far enough. So I went to see a um, neuro, um, what's it called? Neuro, um, oh God. Physio? Uh, physio, yeah. And um, she did all kinds of tests and everything. And at the end of it, she said, um, what you need is um, something really vigorous. And she sa I said, oh, yeah, a friend of mine goes to exercise classes at some retirement village. And she said, no, you don't need uh, to sit in a chair and wave your arms in the air. You need something more than that. And um, she recommended Karen. So um, it was a bit awkward because Ka it's, her Karen's classes are three quarters of an hour away from us. So I thought, oh, dear, that's not going to be easy. And it was also the day when um, I have orchestra practice, so that wasn't too good. But then in the end, I thought, no, I've, I've got to try this. So I went down and uh, oh, I had um, a uh, assessment with Karen, first of all. And then I went to her class at Blackwood. And from that, I got on to the PD Warrior 10-week uh, challenge and fought my way through that. <laughs> You won't um, be thanking me, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, look, no, I, I was very happy with it because what I liked about it was that there's a lot of structure in it, and I think I need that. I think, you know, just hoping you'll do it yourself isn't really very easy. And um, I also like to see the progress I was making. At first, I tried that 007 exercise, and I thought, I can't do this. I'm going to fall flat on my back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... Um, Anyhow, I plugged away at it, and uh, by the time I went for my reassessment with Karen, she was amazed at the difference. There were all kinds of things that I just couldn't do uh, when I, in the first assessment that suddenly I could do. I couldn't walk over the hurdles at first, in the first assessment, and then I could get over them, no problem. And I'm still having problems with balance. I've still got to work on that. But uh, I do the exercises every day now because um, I find that you just get so much improvement from them. So are you continuing to head down to Karen on a weekly basis yeah. despite yeah. the three quarter of an hour awkward yes. timing? It was that valuable to you? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I think I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic, Mary. So what do you think for people that are not sure about PD Warrior, what do you think is the main difference between general exercise so what you were doing before and what you did in PD Warrior what do you think made the difference for you? Well I think the main difference is the structure of it that you've got um, especially with the 10-week challenge you can feel yourself progressing because it starts off fairly easily and then it progresses till by about week five I was just about ready to give up actually because uh, it was getting hard but I put a little comment into Jason and he was very encouraging and, and I thought, no, nope, I'll stick with this. And um, no, as I say, by the end of it, well, just to give you an example, um, I went to watch my granddaughter doing uh, cross country. She was in the state cross country. And my daughter said, oh, well, you better not come mom, because you'll find it really difficult. It's muddy and it's hilly. And I said, oh, I can do it. I was walking with a stick, by the way, previously. Mm -hmm. And um, anyhow, I got there and she just saw me and she just couldn't believe it. And she's a GP, so now she's <laughs> pushing PD Warrior to everybody, all her uh, patients. Yeah. 
So would you say that was a wow moment for you? I mean, it certainly would have been for your daughter. Was that a moment when you realised not only were you able to walk over hurdles, but you can actually do a lot more in your life than you thought you might oh, have been able to? completely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other thing beforehand was uh, if there was a slight incline, I had to grab somebody to get down it. I was so, you know, unbalanced and scared. And um, I took my stick everywhere because I couldn't get up and down curbs. And now I go for walks and I don't take a stick and I can get up and down curbs. I can walk down hills. <laughs> no, oh, it's very, fabulous. very, geez, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. Good on you. <laughs> I'm very, I'm so pleased with the um, uh, uh, PD Warrior thing because um, I said to Karen uh, to tell the other physio when she saw her, thank you very, very much for introducing me to it. And she said, why don't you get online and put something on there about how good it is? So that's why I put the comment on um, uh, Tribe 365. About yeah, well, as soon as you did that, I had to follow you up because your story was, was awesome. And I think it definitely will resonate with other people who have previously been quite physically active, but now have mm. probably found that they're not moving as well as they can. And they're a little bit intimidated by going outdoors and on uneven yeah. surfaces and slopes yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> and so, Mary, have there been any other challenges that you've experienced with your Parkinson's, perhaps even non-motor symptoms? So things with your thinking or memory or physical comfort um, levels? Not so much that memory, but um, I play in, well, I play in four different bands and orchestras. Um, and I was playing a, a tenor horn especially, is a brass band instrument. And the tremor was in my left hand. And I just couldn't play the tenor horn at all because I was shaking so much. Now, I think um, it's a combination of medication and PD Warrior that's got me through that. And I I'm playing all the time now. I'm back to playing in all the bands and, uh, yeah, at my usual not very good level. But <laughs> oh, Mary, <laughs> if I could it. give you a virtual high five. <laughs> that, I mean, that just warms my heart. That is wonderful, mm. Mary. Well done. Well, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm praising this up to everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I mean, and I think you're right. It's not, it's important to note that it's so important that your medication is optimized as well, because if your medication is not right or you're under medicated, you really lose the value of the training effect. You can't work hard enough to achieve no, that. No, that's effect. right. So yeah. They yeah. do very much go hand in hand. It's not one or the other, I think. Yeah. And I think with the medication, you've got to persevere as well, because at first it made me terribly sick. Did it? And yeah. I, oh, yeah, I felt absolutely terrible. It was awful. But uh, I've got a really good neurologist who is so encouraging. And, uh, yeah, and I stuck with that as well. And, yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm doing really well, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon you are too, Mary. I reckon you are. So in closing, if, you've, if you were to come across somebody who was kind of sitting on the fence, wasn't sure about exercise, let alone... I'd push them off it. <laughs> push them off it, would you? Yeah, right. <laughs> Right into a PD Warrior program, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And apart from your um, walking up and down slopes and things like that now and playing your tenor horn, what else are you keeping yourself busy with these days? Well, I play a French horn as well. And, um, oh, I, I do an awful lot of uh, craft work as well. And John and I, my husband and I, go for a walk every day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we do that. I do my exercises every morning before breakfast because I find if I push it off, um, I probably won't do them. So I get up and uh, have a shower and then get stuck into them. Oh, and I find that um, um, downloaded CD, you know, the download of the CD that you've done, that's yep. fantastic because um, now that I've done the 10 week challenge, I was looking for, you know, how, how do I organize the rest of it? And so I pick and choose exercises from that. Yeah, especially balanced ones, because that's obviously where I think I've got most problems. And so how's your 007 these days? Oh, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I can't do terribly well, are any ones that I have to, you know, the ones where you put the ball and bounce the ball under your legs and things like that, because I have a few uh, aches and pains in my groin from um, a hip replacement that probably didn't work too well. Right. But, uh, but no, um, the others I'm fine with. 
Yeah. And it, with the hip replacement, I mean, you were able to obviously modify all of the exercises to suit. And that's one of the features I think that's so important is that it's modified for you, any injuries you have, uh, the way that you present with your Parkinson's, if you're tremor yeah. dominant, you can tailor it to that. And I think that really helps with the success of the, the outcomes. Yeah, yeah. Well, Karen, you know, if I'm doing an exercise and I say, well, that's hurting, she'll, she'll suggest a way of doing it where it, it doesn't hurt and, and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well done, Mary. It's been an absolute honour having a chat with you and I'm so proud of how well you've done. Excellent work. It's well, thank you so much for developing the course. I, I think it's, it's amazing. Oh, uh, oh, look, honestly, I love talking to you because it's so encouraging and inspiring to see you getting back to all these activities and things you weren't doing before. So, yeah. And I think that's another thing about the course is the um, people on, on Tribe 365, they're so positive. Yeah. And I think that's a really good thing because, you, you know, some of the forums that you see, everybody's going on about how awful it is and what a dreadful thing. And I think, oh, dear me. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what's going to lift you up on the days when you're struggling. You need to celebrate every small success and win. That's right. And see other people who have succeeded and, and done things. And yeah, and I like it with your 10-week um, uh, challenge as well, that you have people in the background who are obviously struggling a bit with it. <laughs> Well, in all fairness, we don't give people a lot of training before we do the exercise. So I, I feel good. Well, really put them on their paces. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> our talent, our talent are very game to step up to the plate, I think. And we're very oh, they're lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mary, everybody in Tribe 365 is going to love this interview. So thank you so much. And I really hope you have a wonderful day. You too. And thank, as I say again, thanks ever so much for developing this. Oh, pleasure. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> bye now. Okay, bye.